New details tonight in the crippling cyber attack that took over Colonial Pipeline. That pipeline delivers fuel to almost half of the East Coast. It runs from Texas to New Jersey and supplies gas to states in its path, including the Carolinas. Yeah, so many impacts here, and this hack is causing concerns over rising gas prices, possibly a shortage. And with that, we've already seen gas stations in our area report that they have run out of gas. We're looking at some images from here and across North Carolina. Long lines are already to starting to form at some places with a lot of pumps with out of service as we see there tags on them. Tonight the pipeline released a new statement saying the line that runs from Greensboro, North Carolina to Maryland is under manual control for a limited time. That means they will use the gas reserved within that line for now basically buying time before the line is back up and running again. And today, a senior energy analyst for Wells Fargo said if the pipeline is at least partially restored by Wednesday, he expects that there wouldn't be any significant or lasting impacts. However, if the restart takes six to 10 days, he expects gas prices on the East Coast to jump with some areas seeing gas shortages and anything longer than that significant fuel shortages. Now within the past 30 minutes, American Airlines has confirmed the Colonial Pipeline cyber attack is impacting flights out of Charlotte. The company released statements saying two long haul flights out of CLT are impacted due to the fuel supply shortage. They are flights to Honolulu and to London. The flights will now make stops to get additional fuel along the way or for passengers to change planes. The flights are set to return to their original schedules on May 15th.